everyone, welcome back to the CocoaS USA channel. Today we're going to be talking all about ways you can spice up your nail game for 2022. So if you want to know 7 easy ways you can upgrade your looks for 2022, stay tuned to the rest of this video. Let's get started. So the first way to jazz up your nails is using chrome. And I know chrome can be intimidating for a lot of people but we're not just talking about any chrome we're talking about the cocoa's chrome stick pen and this is so easy because the chrome is literally in the cap and you already have your stick right there so all you have to do is uncap it and rub your chrome on how easy is that so what we're going to do today is some chrome detailing and i know chrome detailing can be intimidating for a lot of people because it's confusing the first time or a couple of times because it doesn't stick to where you want it to and then it sticks it doesn't stick where you want it and it sticks where you don't want it and all that jazz so i'm going to show you foolproof way on how to use chrome so you can be a chrome master so let's get started i have my products here today that i'll need to create my beautiful chrome look i already have my base color on and i'll have you know the base color listed somewhere in the corner of the screen or here here somewhere so if you want to recreate these looks at home you can follow along and use the exact same things that i did or don't you know what it's up to you it's your world live how you wanna so anyways, the main thing about chrome is that you want to use a non-wipe top coat to make the details or the design. So a lot of people like to use, uh, well, not non, non-wipe gel, not non-wipe top coat. A lot of people like to use non-wipe top coat, but the problem about non-wipe top coat is that it makes it really hard to see what you're drawing. So what I like to do and what I really suggest using is using our markers line, especially in this thick black, so you can really see where those details are going. And so there's, it's really easy to know what you're doing and what details you're making and make really great art with that. So I'm going to be using that, but before I even put on my non-wipe gel, again, this is my markers line, thick black non-wipe color. I am going to take my lint-free wipe and my alcohol. I don't know if you can see the alcohol, but I definitely am pumping it on there. There. Got my alcohol and I'm going to be wiping the surface of my color, my base color right there. So I'm going to wipe it thoroughly and make sure that I give it a good wipe. And so that way your chrome doesn't try to stick on someplace you don't want it to. So after I wiped and let it dry, I'm going to take my brush. I have the Nail Thoughts Detailer brush here today. I'm going to take my Marcus line in thick black and then go ahead and create a design. So now I have my Marcus line and I'm going to be creating a detail. So I got my first line on there and I'm going to go ahead and add another line because I'm feeling fancy today. Okay, so I have my two lines here all ready to go and I'm going to cure that for 20 seconds with the markers line. If you're going to be adding chrome on top, cure for 20 seconds. If you have the non-wipe top coat, cure for 10 seconds. So let me go ahead and cure that and I'll be right back. All right. And now I have it all cured here. I have my chrome pen. This is in 01 gold. And now all I'm gonna do is simply rub the powder on the nail tip and look at that. There you go. And once you're done with that and you feel satisfied and there's enough chrome on there and it's as sparkly as you want it to be, 
You're gonna take your camellia brush and you're just gonna dust off the excess. And what are you left with? You're left with two beautiful gold lines, the perfect Midas touch. And ta-da, you are now a chrome master. How do you feel about that? I know when I first mastered chrome, I wanted to kneel down and cry because that's how happy I was. Um, so now I'm gonna take my extra dirty ultra glossy top coat and I'm just gonna go over with a top coat and cure that and we're all done. So let me go ahead and do that off camera. And while we're waiting for cure, we can watch, look at some other ones that I did. I did this one, which is a nice cool circle. And I did some other lines right here. But look, it just adds a nice touch to your nail that you didn't know you needed and it was not that hard. I promise you, all of these tips and tricks are not that hard. So now I have the perfect chrome touch detailing on my nail and it was easy effortless and wonderful to look at so the next way to upgrade your look from basic to something a little more exciting is to use gem gel the gem gel line is a cokeless line of gels that uses kyoto opal infused flakes to create this beautiful beautiful line of gem gels and so the great thing about these and what you can do with these is that you can use them to build gems on top of your nails which is what i'm going to show you and if you're asking why do you have this funny circle on your nail already it's because i went ahead and added a little metal ring around it but you certainly don't have to for this look i just want to because i'm a fancy lady and i do feel like it sometimes so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna just mix this gel around a little bit so you can see the flakes a little bit more and then we're gonna be going ahead and placing the gem gel onto the nail so let's do that Okay, so there that is. So the gem gels does settle, so you have to do have to mix them every time you use them. But after that, it should be no problem. So pop that air bubble. I'm just gonna take some of the gem gel onto my pointed brush. You can also use a spatula needle for this. But I'm just gonna use that. Get a little bit, and I'm gonna plop that onto my nail and create a circle. And it does look like a pretty little gem that you created yourself and you can create like a whole well the world is your oyster when it comes to these gem gels because you can be you can do a whole host of things with just these gem gels and like that i've created a beautiful gem on top of my nail and that took almost no effort to do that i could probably do that in my sleep okay so anyways i'm just gonna go ahead and put that in the curing machine that's what it looks like right now this is gorgeous this is in the color g05 amethyst opal and like i said i'll have the base color listed somewhere in this corner somewhere okay so let me just go ahead and cure that all right and there i have my gem gel look how beautiful that is And did I need that much expertise? No. So you can do it too. I promise. And because I'm feeling extra, extra special today, I'm going to go ahead and add some details in this thick bronze right here. And this is also from the markers line, thick bronze. And I'm just going to add a few details to make this look really pop. And you'll see it's going to go from zero to, well, it's already at 100. But we're going to take it from 100 to like 300. So just wait and see. 
go ahead and put some limes and I will be right back. And ta-da, here I have my finished nail look. Well, I haven't finished it yet because I haven't cured it, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like. And I'm feeling pretty fantastical about this one. And all you have to do is play around with them and you can create such amazing looks with these. This is the completed look. Another way we can up our art game is by using Art Clear. Now, Art Clear can be used for many purposes, but today I'll just be showing you one of the many ways you can use this multi purpose product. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by applying a thin layer of Art Clear on my nail. As you can see right here, I have already painted the base. So I will be going ahead and applying my Art Clear. In this technique, I will not be curing my Art Clear before I add my other colors. Art Clear is great for mixing and smooshing colors around together to create beautiful, like, marbly, watercolor -y. I'm not sure how you want to say it, but essentially it's easier to mix colors around with. So that's what I'll be doing today. I'm going to go ahead by applying E91 white gradation first. And because I have the arch clear on already, you can see it makes it much easier. It also almost makes the white a lot more translucent, but it's much, much easier to move around. Okay, that's all the white I decided I want for now. So I'm going to move on to my next color. And the next color will be E238 Blue Blue Glass. Now, as you'll see, I am not curing in between putting all these colors in because that's what makes it blendable. As you can see, all those colors are just blending so smoothly and nicely together. Okay, I'm gonna go back in, add more of my white. You can see how beautifully those colors are blending together. Okay, I decided I am happy with that for now, and I'm going to go ahead and cure that. Okay, as you can see, this is what it looks like all cured, and it looks pretty, but I'm not, I'm not quite satisfied with this. So I'm going to go ahead with another layer of Art Clear and keep layering. As long as you have that Art Clear, you can keep layering and building and blending all these beautiful colors together. Okay, so I'm going in with my base color, Violet Fizz, to bring some of that purple back out onto the top. Picking up some of that white gradation, adding that in with the purple. And then finally, I want to add just a little bit of that blue blue glass to bring it back in. And I am pretty happy with that. What about you all? This is what it looks like and I'm just gonna go ahead and cure that now. And we have this galaxy look which I find really beautiful and it can be used as an accent nail or on all nails or as a background for more nail art. But I'm done with this for now and the last step to add just another step of va va voom. I'm gonna add my Ultra Rainbow Non-Wipe Glossy Top Coat and it, you're going to see that it's going to come alive with this top coat. There you have it. Just using Art Clear, whatever colors you have on hand, you can create so many different kinds of looks with these. All right, the next way you can advance your nail art technique is by perfecting a design. And what I mean by that is think the popular designs like rose quartz, tortoiseshell, choosing one and perfecting it can really 
help you up your game because you can easily mix and incorporate that in into all different kinds of ways if you know a simple technique like that. I'm gonna show you today that even these designs are not that hard and you can do them. And I'm gonna be using all the stuff in Nail Thoughts. Hey Masters! tortoise shell kit so that's going to be this tortoise shell color here number 12 i have it as a base already it's this beautiful orange -y glassy color that's going to be perfect for this technique and we're also going to be using e240 maroon brown glass e148 black is black and finally e223 midnight chocolate all you'll need is a smush brush Okay, like our art clear, we're gonna apply these in layers, but to show you how easy it is gonna be. All you have to remember is to go lightest from darkest. Now we're gonna start with maroon brown glass. And now I'm gonna be adding my midnight chocolate. And just like the maroon brown glass, I'm gonna create these swooshes mostly in the areas that I didn't before, but also overlapping in some areas to create that layered tortoiseshell effect. Now that I've added my midnight chocolate, once again, just go ahead and cure. Last step, I'm gonna go ahead and add my black is black. Now, as you can see, this tortoiseshell kit just made it so much easier. I don't have to go ahead and choose my colors. I don't have to think about what colors I'm gonna use. All I needed was the tortoiseshell kit and I had it right there. So that's why I personally really like it. Make sure to leave orange space so that tortoiseshell color can really peek through and shine. Layer it over until you're satisfied. But you know, don't think too much about the placement. But yeah, just go ahead and do it and you know, let the smooshes go wherever you're brush it desires and wants it to. And that is what it looks like so far. The last step is that I'm just going to add my tortoiseshell over that layer and it's really going to pull the entire look together. So let's go ahead and add that tortoiseshell. There you are. And now we cure. Yay, now for the final, final layer for that gloss and shine, we add a layer of ultra glossy top coat, cure, and you'll be all finished. And there you have it, the completed tortoiseshell look. I'm gonna take it off the nail, nail tip so you can see it just a little bit better. The next way is to use Planet Magnet. Now Planet Magnet is great on its own. As you can see here, and we have so many colors you can choose to utilize from, but there is also another way to use Planet Magnet. I have two different base colors here, and you're gonna see how much Planet Magnet can change depending on the base color that is used over. Today I'll be using Planet Magnet number 6 in Neptune. And as always, I'm going to have my base colors listed down below. And you know what? I'm going to do this one first. Okay, I'm going to apply the magnet on it. and I will cure. In the meanwhile, let me go ahead and add the planet magnet to this one. And already, as you can see, it's giving a more grungier type of effect. So let me go ahead and add the planet, the magnet effect. And 
and that'll cure. Okay, and we can very well stop here, but I want to add a second layer, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. This is looking pretty great. I'm just going to go ahead and add a second layer. And as you can see, the look of the planet magnet is completely changed by under what base coat it's used under. Another way to utilize a planet magnet is to change the direction of your magnet stick. But as you can see, all of these are so unique and look great in their own way. And there's so many other base colors that you can use. I just use these sheer, more jelly, glass-like colors. But Feel free to use any base to see what looks you can come up with. This one incorporates a lot of different techniques from the ones that we used previously. As you can see, I already have my base color down, but I wanted to add chrome pen technique that we used previously, so I have that on there. And using the chrome pen, pen technique and another one that I will be showing you right now, you can use these to really elevate your look. So let's get started this one. And you're asking me, what are we going to be using this time? Da da! Boba gel! Boba gel is our 3D modeling gel that we just released earlier last year. And with this, you can create really cool parts and accessories. So let's get started. I have my metal palette here because I'm going to be needing that today and I'm going to be using boba gel high. We also have boba gel low which is a little bit of a um, less viscous texture but for this one I want to create these almost glass looking like beads so I'm going to be using that. Let's see it's really tough and you want to use a metal stick of some sort to get this out. I'm going to divide it into two because I want to make two different beads today. And there's that one. I'm going to be using the chrome pen in 07 pink. I'm just going to dab that there on this side and I'll also be using chrome pen 04 in Aurora pink go ahead and dab that on this side all right and I'm just going to mix them Now that I'm satisfied with my mixing, oh, they're a little far apart. As you can see there, those are my two parts. I'm gonna take them, roll them out into little shapes, and place them on my nail. I'll show you all my progress so far. So, I've already done a little bit here, but essentially, I took a little piece and just roll it in between the fingers, create all. For this one, I didn't care about creating a perfect round ball of shape. All I'm going to do is press it onto the nail, and I'm pretty happy with that. It looks really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and cure. The only thing to remember about Boba Gel High is that it is only UV light only, so it does only cure under UV light. The great thing though is that Coquist lamps are both UV and LED, so they will cure under the lamps. 
and it's going to take a while depending on how big your boba gel is it'll take upwards of 120 seconds plus so i'm just going to go ahead and cure and i will see you soon now the last step to keep in mind uh, boba gel is not a non-wipe formula so you will have to go ahead and add your top coat the great thing is, is that you don't have to go ahead and completely go over and try to add it to the entire nail with the help of the pointed brush I'm just take my pointed brush and my ultra glossy get it in there and just apply it to the area since i already have the top coat on my base nail i'm just going to go ahead and add it just to the areas that i need it so that way i can ensure that the 3D parts really stick out. There you go, all done. I'm just gonna go ahead, give it that final cure, and we'll be all done. And that is the finished look. And this was using all gel, which I think is pretty great. So the last and final way to upgrade your nail looks in 2022 is when in doubt, bling it out. And yes, that means we're gonna be using some bling in this one. So I have my bling right here. I'm gonna be using this chain and I will be using our non-wipe accessory bond to go ahead and attach that onto my nail tip that I have here. So I have this beautiful gold chain here, which I'm gonna be placing around my nail so i'm going to cut and measure it out and i will show you how to use the accessory bond there are so many charms and accessories that you can find but the most important thing about putting on charms and accessories is that you need something that will fasten on and stay and won't fall apart until your next manicure so how do you do that well we love our non-wipe accessory bond because those parts are gonna stick I have this simple chain, it's all cut out. I just use scissors. Of course, if you don't have a chain, that's perfectly fine. You can use literally anything your heart desires. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my pointed brush, take some of that non-wipe, and then just place it where I want my bling to go. And since I want it to go around the perimeter of my nail, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I think the important part to remember is that you want to use a pretty hefty amount, especially for large embellishments. Um, since I have a small chain, I'm not going to use a ton, but I do still want to be generous with it. So all I'm going to do is, you know what, I'm probably going to use my tweezers for this one because my fingers are so clumsy. But all I'm going to do is just take this chain and wrap it around the entirety of my nail. And it's literally that easy. And with accessory bond on your side, you can literally do so many things with it like with all our products the possibilities are really just endless okay there we go and because i am feeling like ooh, that might move around after it cures i'm just gonna go around and put it there so that way i have everything here's that so all i'm gonna do is go ahead and cure it and like that, you are all done. This is a non-wipe accessory bond, so you don't need any top coat on top of it, which is a great thing. And it was that easy. It required no skill level, no effort, just your creativity on where you want to place your jewelry. And that is it, my friends. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned some fun ways you can add some spice to your nails. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell, and leave a like on this video. Comment down below what you thought was your favorite look of this video. And don't forget to also follow us on Instagram at CocoSUSA and on TikTok at CocoSUSA.official. Until next time, matane! Bye bye!